what, 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 welcome to an episode of the Pretty Good Podcast with your pretty good hosts, Max Knudsen, and of course myself, Samson Large. Uh, Max isn't here for this episode, and today's my birthday, so it's all about me today, and me being drunk in this episode, so enjoy. And welcome to this very special episode of the Pretty Good Podcast. Today, Captain Samson is in charge, we're going to steam on ahead into a wonderful Halloween-esque episode of the Pretty Good Podcast. I just got back from working at the space bar. I'm gonna there's gonna be a logo right here. Space bar. And I gotta say, I saw some beautiful costumes tonight, people. Boise, Idaho, you did good. You did good on the first night of Halloween weekend. You killed it. You crushed it. You really d- hit it out of the ballpark on this one. There were some very good costumes out there. But I gotta say the best group I saw was was an international group, so Americans. Step it up. If you couldn't tell, I am the ultimate douchey costume. Hugh Hefner. That's me. At Space Bar, we had a we had a Hef and Bunnies theme. All the bartenders were the bunnies, and I was the Hef, and I was the doorman, of course. You know, because Hef man's the door. Hef, Hef, Hef is the one who, who, who tells people whether or not they can come into the Playboy Mansion. You know, he's the mansion owner. He runs the door. That's how it works, right? <laughs> Definitely not some hired help or anything. But um, I was a little bit nervous, actually, of exposing my titties, nipples. And so I taped them up, and then when I untaped them, it hurt. It hurt really bad. That's It was rough. It was a rough one. Any whom, it's Halloween, or it's currently the twenty seventh, or night of night of the twenty seventh, but it's Halloween, which means it's time to get spooky. And what do we consider spooky on the Pretty Good Podcast? Credit scores under six hundred. Seven days late on rent. Driving around uninsured. Yeah, those are fucking spooky items, all right? Now, I'm not trying to cut it short, cut it dry, do anybody any bad here, but if you're not up on your insurance, you better get up on your insurance. I'm speaking from experience here. Yeah, I've had my car taken away from me because I didn't pay my insurance, all right? It happens. It happens to the best of us. That's half speaking, not me, but, you know. I'm like a younger, better-looking Hugh Hefner, you know? <laughs> yeah, they let me, they let me, they let me drink beers at work. What are you gonna do about it, all right? Huh? Yeah, nothing. That's what I thought. Yeah, they let me drink beers at work because I'm good at my job. I know how to read IDs. I can see a date. <laughs> and look at a face. And see. Date match face. Boom. Mic drop. Just kidding. This is my little mic. <laughs> What's he doing? We don't know. We don't know. Why are we doing this? We also don't know. I've been doing a lot of stand-up lately. Not as much as I would like. I would like to do a lot more stand-up. I would like to be standing up all the time. In fact, I'm going to stand up right now. Nope, not going to stand up because then the green screen won't be here. And then I can't do my silly little green screen ideas. Oh, God. Oh, no. We're going to take a brief intermission because I just fucked the camera up. Okay. Fixed it. 
I did it. Dude, I feel good right now. This is a good fit for me, honestly. I feel like this is very natural. I feel like I'm rocking it all the way through and through. It's just me. It's just me in the quay, baby. God, so it snowed recently in the mountains, and I'm excited. I mean, ski season is approaching. I bought some new skis. I'm going to have new skis. I'm going to have a drone. We're going to be skiing, droning, ski drones, drone skis, jumping, flying, flipping. It's going to be a good old time. It's going to be a grand, fleeping, flea old time. Look at these flips that I've done before. Look at these flips that Max has done before. I'm not going to want to edit those in, but you know what? I will because I love me and I love Max. And I love skiing. I love flipping. I love flipping, dude. Flipping, dude. Just flipping out, dude. <laughs> Just flipping out, dude. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. <coughs> it's like four in the morning right now. Three in the morning, two in the morning, three in the morning. 319. I'm trying to be a little bit quick, why? Quiet. So Max doesn't wake up above me and be all upsetty spaghetti that I'm being all loudy spaloudy. <laughs> you know, that's just the game we play. When you're trying to pump it out on the content machine of YouTube's. Is nipple okay on YouTube? Honestly, like, is that all right? Let me know in the comments how you feel about that, okay? And I'll, and I'll, I'll slow it down, all right? I'll tone it back for y'all. So I went and watched my mom's dogs this weekend. You probably saw a short of the little Corgi. God damn, his name is Monty. And I don't know if it's like Monty after anything. I like to assume that it's Monty after Monty Python. And I was calling him Montague, which is... <laughs> Adorbs. I know. And little Monty. Oh my god. I taught him how to use the doggy door. Yeah. I taught him that. Okay. And he was just whap, doggy door. High centered. Because he's quirky. It was hilarious. Dude. He would literally like get high centered in the doggy door. And like. You know, scratch it. And it's like. Oh dude. You had to be there. You know. You, you really had to be there. It's, it's tough. It's tough actually. We're going to go with the relaxed angle. And it's going to work. Hello. And welcome. Welcome. <coughs> To the Samson show. I'm gonna drop this chair down, I think. Oh, there we go. And that's how we do it. And that's how you reframe. Scoop dee doop, shooby doop, boop ba. I wanna talk about, you know what I actually really wanna talk about? What I wanna get down to? The bottom of Jinkies, mate. I want to talk about Scooby-Doo. What's new Scooby-Doo? In fact, the animation series, What's New Scooby-Doo? Dare I say? Dare I say it? The best Scooby-Doo is What's New Scooby-Doo? Does the Hex Girls movie count as part of What's New Scooby-Doo? I think so. And if it does, yes, that's the best Scooby-Doo. Obviously, Hex Girls all time. Hair Scrolls is what gave me my, my taste in women, you know? It's scary. Spooky. Good pussy. What? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I think so. I, I just know that I like 
brunettes with some spooky tattoos. I don't know. And maybe some spooky backgrounds. I don't know, man. The Hex Girls just get me going. They get me riled up, dude. And I don't know they get everybody else riled up, too. I've seen it. I've seen it on the internet. God damn. You know what else gets me going, though? I really dug the the whole just Scooby, Shaggy, and Scrappy dynamic back in the 80s or 90s or whatever when Shaggy wore the red t-shirt. Y'all remember the red t-shirt, Shaggy? That Shaggy was <laughs> kind of a machine. <laughs> the monster school. Okay, picture this. Ah, no, sunglasses stay on. Picture this. You're going on a vacation with your family. You pull up into the family van. They drop down the god damn VHS player in the van. Screen pops down. Pop that bad boy in. And guess what you're watching? The Ghoul Girls School. Shaggy, Scrappy, Scooby Doo in the Ghoul Girls School, dude. <laughs> fire. Fire flick. Fire flick alert. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, I don't have any of the sound effects right now because I'm using the mini mic. But I'm going to make my own sound effects. I feel like I'm shaking this mic up. The sound might be terrible. It also might be... Uh, pristine <laughs> crisp crisp but I don't know only time will tell you know you ever wear a captain's hat backwards oh now it just looks like a regular sailor hat that's adorable <laughs> I never as a boy wore like those little sailor outfits or whatever that you see like you know cute boys wearing when you're in the, in the cartoons or whatever but gee willikers I would have looked adorable Adorable in one. Are you kidding me? Look at this hat right now. God, I would look good in uniform. Oh, man. Shaboom. Yeah, the hair's greasy. All right. I went for a couple bike rides today. Right up the hill. Not once, but twice. <laughs> right before I started this podcast, actually. I just rode up the hill because I'm strong and I got good legs. Speaking of good legs. Look what's on these pretty good legs. Wu-Tang. <laughs> 36 chambers. Kill a bees on the swarm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm one of those white kids. I love Wu-Tang. It's for the children. It's for the children. Wu-Tang. Shout out Henry Carlo. Shout out the RZA. Shout out Old Dirty Bastard. Shout out Method Man. Shout out Inspected Deck. Shout out Ghostface Killer. Shout out the Jizza. Is that? I think I got most of them, right? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got them all. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this out again tonight, tomorrow night. I think I need to get more tattoos though. I think I need a lot more tattoos. I'm thinking about getting like, I want to get like a big old skeleton. <laughs> you know, like a scary one, like a spooky skeleton, and like a snake, maybe a flippery little snake on my arm. Who knows, now I'm just fucking, yeah, 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 this is a problem, this is a problem, this is the problem, this is the issue that I subconsciously do things that I guess are mine, who knows, <laughs> Does that make you a bad person? Maybe. I don't know. All I know is I look good right now, don't I? <laughs> I hear movement. That's the thing, man. I want to be a bad roommate. I'm just on a different sleep schedule, you know? 
like when you work at a bar you just like kind of get your <laughs> I hate to say it your circadian rhythm gets a little wrench thrown in it and then you just you're up all night and you sleep all day And it can kind of suck. You know how else can suck? When you drink a bunch of beer at work, and then you don't have any beer when you get home. Because you drank your beer during the podcast earlier, and you gave your last beer to the kid on the podcast earlier. Talking to you, Jackson. Redundant ass name, motherfucker. And I could, that's, I'm sorry. You're a good guy. And I don't like you. You're, you're a good dude. I just, I'm just like Hugh Hefner, all right? I gotta be a douche. When I was a child, and I mean child, I'm talking about fourth grade. I was talking to this girl, and she told me that her goal in life was to be a Playboy Bunny. And did she achieve that goal? No. At the time, was I a dick? Yes. Thinking back now, that's a that's a good goal. That's a good goal. That is a solid goal because if you're a Playboy bunny, then you can you you have options after that. You can do things after that to make money, right? You can either go, you know, the like continue to do like other shoots and stuff, or like you can go the other route and and continue to do other shoots in a different type of way, you know. Um, or you can just like be an influencer like Sarah Underwood, you know, like just be like a campy, fucking fun, cool ass person with her fucking dope ass partner, Jake Witzel, or I think he's cool, dude. He makes all these axes, chop things. He has different axes and he chop, dude. My kind of guy, dude. And then he wears a dress and he chops shit. My kind of guy, dude. Oh my god, I love that man. <sighs> Honestly, like when I was like. You know, 16, 17, I was like, Sarah Underwood, she's on, she's on all these fucking magazines. No, 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 Jacob Witzling. I think that's his name. I'm pretty sure that's his name. He's hot. He knows how to chop wood. He knows how to build a cabin. He knows how to build a hot tub out of wood. He's a man, and I like him. I like him more, and I wish we could be pals. Hit me up, Jacob. Please. Man, comedy. They say comedy comes from trauma. And if that's true, then fuck, man, I'm chock full of comedy. I don't want to get into it right now. I don't want to trauma dump all over you guys, but man, I could trauma dump all over anybody, anytime. You know when you do your most trauma dumping is when you are partying with some people and you're like in that zone at the end of the night right around this time actually usually right around 3 three thirty, four in the morning there's maybe like seven eight of you left and you start to split off into like little individual conversations and you like jump in with one or two people and then you just start dumping all this bullshit on them you know that happened to you as a kid they're like crying for you and then they they tell you theirs and then you cry for them and then you're you're all best friends afterwards right by the way, that's how you make friends as an adult. If you didn't know, that's how you do it. You get fucked up and you go trauma dump with a bunch of other young adults. And then, I mean, and even if you're an old adult, go trauma dump with some other adults. It's just, it's, 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 it's nice. It's fun. It's a good time. You'll be better for it. Maybe. I don't know. I've been trying to read more lately. I've been reading a lot of books. Books, big books, little books, small books, big books, tall books, saw books, law books, doll books. Get all the books in the book of the books. Yeah, I've been reading books. 
like I read Lenny Bruce's autobiography, um, how to, fuck, I forgot the title of it, I'm so stupid, that's alright, you know what book I'm reading right now, I'm reading Bob Saget's book, Dirty Daddy, and let me tell you right now, it is a great book, oh my god. You gotta read it. If you liked the works of Bob Saget in Full House, you gotta read Dirty Daddy. If you liked the works of Jesus Christ, I'm keeping the sunglasses on. If you liked the works of Bob Saget in America's Funniest Home Video. <laughs> Then you gotta read Dirty Daddy. There's things going on above me and I don't know what they are. I recently opened up a Pokemon ETB pack and got nothing. Sad. My energy has been depleted. I feel as if I cannot continue this podcast or whatever this was. Just rant drunk after work ramblings of of a man of a man child dressed as Hugh Hefner, perhaps. I don't know. I'm a man. I'm a man and I feel good about where I am in the world. Where we go to the swirl of time and space I don't know when I'm singing But it's coming out of my face And I don't know what it's spewing But it might be of this place I don't know who I am I just know what I want I wanna be me Whenever that will end up. <laughs> A little freestyle for you. Yeah, there you go. Good work. I feel like I can't clip any of the scenes that I don't have these glasses on because my eyes just look so fucking gone. Well, it's better if I just hold them closed. Honestly, this isn't bad. Listen, I rode my bike home, all right? I'm fine. Fine as sweet cherry wine or whatever he says. Somebody buy me a boat, please. Can I just, I just really want a boat. Look at this hat. I need a boat. I need a boat. Just, I'll take a little boat. Just a tiny little boat. Just somebody, somebody send me a little pretty good boat. Can I, can I just get a boat? Thank you. Sorry, I was holding my breath. In this corner of the ring, we've got two-time heavyweight champion, Samson Long. Hey, let me at him, let me at him, let me at him. 
Let's go drop the ring. We got three time. <laughs> hey, no man, no man. And go. Let's see if a box match with yourself. You wanna see me dance? Oh, you saw me really good, and I didn't like that. What do you think my background should be? I got your nose. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's got my nose. <laughs> what am I gonna do, man? What are we gonna do with our nails? <laughs> oh my god, he's got my nose. He's got my nose. What am I gonna do? Please help me. <laughs> he gave back. He gave me back my nose. Let me go have some. And pizza tonight. What can I say? I like pizza. I really like day. This may just seem like ADHD ramblings to you, but in fact, this has been a very informative episode of the Pretty Good Podcast, where you have learned very much about yourself, the universe, and all of the expanding time and space around it. So I hope you buckle in for the rest of this episode. In recent news, it has um, been expected that um, uh, the the um uh Steve for you uh telling them what's going on in the country I right know. Well you see Papa, I just I don't I don't really feel comfortable saying this line right now. Steve, you just gotta let him know that uh what's going on right now, but Yeah, Bob, but I uh I really don't like this. Um I really don't I don't like this headline, Bob. <laughs> Yo, Steve, it's not really up to you, man. So uh just let it rip, okay? All right, Bob, you got it. Um, here we go. Well, folks, in recent news, uh, it turns out that uh, everybody is going to uh, develop flippers, I guess, and turn into a little dolphin and then squirp around, and uh, we're all just going to go to the ocean. Really, Bob? Yeah, yeah, that was, that was, that was great, that was great, good job, good job. And that was improv. You're welcome. Do I do it for money? (laughs) No. No. Would I do it for money? (laughs) Probably, yeah. Yeah, I probably would. I probably would. Pop Tarts? Find a sponsor? Or bagels. Any bagel company. I really love bagels. Uh, <laughs> I'm addicted to bagels. So if a bagel company would like to sponsor our podcast, I would really, really, really like that. Thank you. I can't really tell who's stomping around upstairs, but it makes me nervous. I don't like waking people up. I feel like I was being kind of quiet. 
I'm not like wearing headphones. I feel like I'm not talking at like a elevated state. The lights are kind of loud, but that's kind of it. I don't know. I haven't put together a Lego set in so long, and I think that's why I'm sad. You know what one I really want to get? I didn't know Paul Walker and his GTR, his Nissan GTR set out. And honestly, if I don't get it, I think that I'm going to castrate myself. That was too far, I'm sorry. But I might, because honestly, dude, I already have the Vin Diesel one, and, like, I need to get the Paul Walker one, obviously. Because <laughs> Paul Walker's the guy. And Fast and Furious is the shit. I just watched Fast and Furious 1, 2, and 3 the other day. <laughs> Forgot how good the first ones are. The rest can suck my dick, but... Those first three, man. God damn. Especially the first one and two. When they first introduced Roman, and you got Brian, and they're just bros, and they're just driving for the drug guy, and they're just... <laughs> sick, dude. And it's still all about family, you know? At the end of the day, those movies are all about family. Going fast. And family. That's how I want to live, you know. I want to go fast. I want a family. But like the family that they had, like a ragtag group of misfit friends, you know. They're just uh, family because they're they got no one else, you know. Yeah, just a rough group of ragtag. House, you know? Yeah. That's what I want. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. I feel like I need to end this just because of the noise that is coming from upstairs. Which is upsetting. Because this is my first solo episode and I really wanted it to be more than this, you know? And I just kind of rambled for the whole time and I really wanted to have like more of a plan here. But, you know, I just got back from work, and I was, like, really anxious and, like, feeling like, ah, I got to do something, you know, and I just felt like this was the right thing to do. And I'm glad I did it at the end, you know, and, and I'm glad y'all were here with me to enjoy it. And, you know, I hope that, that you had fun listening to me ramble, and and I hope that you stick around for, for more of the Pretty Good Podcast and more of Max and I's future in media or whatever the fuck it is that we're doing you know because sometimes you never yeah it's it's stuff man stuff but it's fun and i like it i want to keep doing it and this is all i want to do i just want to make silly videos i just want to come on to a camera and just be a fucking silly little guy and just uh, just be a silly little dude you know And, and and that's me, you know. I'll leave you with this. When I was a senior in high school, I went up to one of my favorite teachers. And I was like, you know, I was graduating. You know. I'm like, listen, Mr. Teacher, you one of my favorite teachers, and I really appreciated everything that you did in your classes. And, and it really helped me, and I liked it a lot. It was AP Gov and, and Econ. And he said, you're a clown. And I don't respect you. 
You know, you'll never be anything but a clown. And I took that to heart, you know, and I just want to clown around, you know, and just joke around and, and make people laugh and, and just be silly. And, and if this was silly, I'm glad. And if it wasn't, I'm sorry. <sighs> what would you say? Stay golden, pony boy. Piss yellow horse kid. Don't get gangrene, mule lad. Honky out.